action. Here's your host for tonight's show, Larry McIntosh. Yes, sir, we've got the inside track, too. For the first time this season, the Murray State offense and the defense put it together, and it gelled, and it came out with a 34-7 win over middle. Congratulations, Coach. Appreciate that, Larry. I tell you, that was a fun time. Players had a great time. Coaches had a good time, and there's nothing like that locker room after the game, after a win like that. Extremely enjoyable. Very. Uh, extremely very. enjoyable. I, you know what concerned me? Middle comes out of the gate, and they look very impressive. Gordon takes them down the field. They, they get a touchdown, and it seemed like they strayed away from their game plan. They did, Larry, and uh, came right at us. Three backs in the backfield. Right. Came right at us, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, block man-on-man, -man, and then mix it up with option. I'm scared to death also. And I didn't know Gordon could throw the ball as well as he could. This kid can hum it. Throws pretty good, but I tell you, our pressure, our pressure got to him. It did. So uh, you just can't say enough about our defensive coaches, our players. Uh, just all, like you said, it just came together and it's a good week. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, we have got an action-packed show, folks. I ain't kidding you. We're going to take a break, then we're going to come back and go to first half highlights, Murray State and Middle Tennessee, right after this break on Racer Review with Houston Nutt. plays happen here and here. Coach Houston Nutt knows who to shop for, what to choose, how to order, and when to trim it. There's no question where to shop. J.C. Penny in Murray, Kentucky, behind the racers all the way. What can professional landscaping do for your property? Call Rolling Hills Nursery and find out. We combine the latest technology with years of experience and training to design and produce an overall effect that complements and enhances your home or office. Our staff can not only recommend the best plantings for your situation, but install and maintain them as well. Computerized planning, professional maintenance, and personal service. Available for you now at Rolling Hills Nursery. Call 1-800-472-8852 today. for a dry cleaner you can trust? Boone's Cleaners has served Western Kentucky for over 62 years and is Murray's only Sanitone certified master dry cleaner. Quite simply, Sanitone is the finest dry cleaning available. It's the only dry cleaning method recommended by leading designers such as Evan Pacone, H. Freeman and Son, and Pierre Cardin. And at Boone's, we have the best stain removal specialist you can find anywhere. If it'll come out, we'll get it out. We'll keep your wardrobe looking its best. Murray's only home-owned and operated cleaners, Boone's. Stewart Stadium, a gorgeous September night. Murray State and Middle Tennessee. And uh, coaches, I said last year, this is the first big test toward that championship drive. Our players knew it. We, we know the caliber team that Middle Tennessee has. There's a back right there by the name of McGill, running strong, number 17, D.D. Mosteller, super receiver. And then they got a quarterback, Ronnie Gordon, big transfer. Here's Sam Greer on a quick hitch. I thought he played his best ball game as a racer. He's a red shirt freshman from Holly Springs, Mississippi, and Sam has gotten better each game. Grant Pruitt did a wonderful job of punting the football. He gets better and better, and uh, just really proud of his efforts. And that was a big question mark before the season opened, the kicking game. Both punting, place kicking, and uh, two young men have, have stepped up and, and met the challenge. Murray State in Middle Tennessee, and here's Gordon, and it hits a man in the flat. And that's, I don't, that's I, wait a minute, Mosteller is 17. It, he only it. had two catches, that's didn't right. he? I, I thought uh, the secondary kept him hemmed up, did a, really a good job, but here comes that option again. This guy is scary and uh, a super athlete. 
super athletes. So this first series, this is the one you're talking about. This one right here really scared me. This is this Ronnie Gordon number three is the same man who drove Kentucky crazy two years ago in Nashville. The option he ran the ball himself. Now a quarterback, he ran it about 25 times, picked up about 115 yards, and Bill Curry hadn't figured it out yet. Well, uh, I can see why the guy's a, a great speed. This guy right here is hard. He reminds me of Timmy Scarborough, the guy we had. Mm -hmm. Very strong from the waist down. Not real overly fast, but as you see right here, powerful, powerful guy. And you better wrap him up. Carlos Ramsey makes this tackle right here, and Carlos was named our defensive player of the week. Just did an outstanding job. He probably played his best game since donning a Murray uniform, he, coach. He really did. He Carlos really came did. to play. Well, the rest of the defense did, too. I mean, the last two games, the defense has only yielded seven points, and looks like a defensive old. Nice stick here. Excellent hit right here by William Hampton, stopping him here on third down. Here it is, fourth down, but the guy is powerful, and uh, he gets over. It's 7-0. Folks, this is the same team that beat UT Chattanooga. This ain't no slouch. They lost to Tennessee State 24-14. And I think UT Chattanooga turned around yesterday and beat Georgia Southern. Mm. So Middle gets on the board in a hurry. And uh, as you say, Coach, uh, I'm a bit concerned here. Uh, me and you both. But uh, mm. we got to take the ball right now and move it back down the field the other way. And that, that's when you have to answer the challenge. We really do. Here we are on a little stretch play to Dave McCann. Excellent blocking by the offensive line. And David hits it north and south. A powerful runner. Got hurt a little bit this week, Larry. So hopefully we can get him back. Play action pass. Great job right here. Move. We had plenty of protection. Mike slips down. It's a, a really a wounded duck. But look at the effort by Jesse Jones coming back to meet the football. Jesse had a great game. Great game. Yeah, of course, Jesse Jones is a talented person anyway, but he made some great catches last night. Catch him right here in a draw, and he hits it. Good block right here by Cliff Branch. Anthony Downs did a good job of hanging on the football, and he ran extremely hard last night. Here's the slow motion. That's a good look right there. Look at the blocking right there by the offensive line. Dan Brown, Alex Broxton, Brian Cox. Those guys did an excellent job. Here we are on a little fullback play. Dive up the middle, and he's going to run right over. He's not going to dodge him, Larry. No. He's going to run right over. You mentioned David Mack got hurt. What was wrong? Got a shoulder. We hope it's just a strange shoulder, but he, he, he gets it bruised, and uh, hopefully he's going to be okay. Here Anthony Downs is here on a sweep. That's an excellent block right there by David McCann, and he's letting him know about it just a little bit there. And uh, Racer Run was he was running last Racer night. Racer Run got a nice little <laughs> workout last night, and an enthusiastic crowd on hand at Stewart Stadium. Just a gorgeous night to play football. Just a little nip in the air, and you talk about a good show. Now Rob Hart, I talked to Rob after the game, and uh, he says he's going to improve on his kickoffs next well, week. Well, I, I hope so. I want him to because we don't want them starting the ball. That gives them the ball at the 35-yard line. Right. And, and that makes it tough on our defense. Kenny Thomas runs him out of bounds right here. And, boy, look at our pressure. Excellent right here by Kurt Barnett. Ronnie Merritt's there. Anthony Hutch had his probably his best game so far. Our pressure was just so consistent. Middle's forced to kick the ball. William Hampton. I thought, he, I thought he was going to fair catch it, but he said no. And Late he, hit. Thank you very much for the flag. Good. William lay there for a few minutes. Is he okay? He's okay. He's tough. Out of the gun. Cherry rolls, and what an arm. Throws a deep ball. Sam catches this ball, but it's out of bounds. But we get a penalty on this play. I think they, they roughed uh, Mike right here. They so we did. got 15 yards. Really good play, but you notice where he caught the ball? He's two yards from the chains. We've got to know where the down and distance. We've got to know where the chains are. I'd like for Jesse just to fall forward right there. He was trying to make something happen. Trying after to make catch. it happen. Here he is making it happen again. And right. We don't want to take that away from him, but on the same hand, we want him to know where the down and distance. Good play right here. And this was a check by Mike. 7-7 seven, seven. as we start the second 15 minutes of action at Stewart Stadium, Murray and Middle Tennessee. The Racers trying to pick up their second OVC win of the year. I thought uh, Mike the last two weeks has done a great job of scrambling, Larry. And he, he catches right here Maurice Pollard sitting in a window and just does a great job of picking up a first down. That's what Jesse Jones told me after the game. He said, Reginald and myself aren't the only receivers on this team. So we've got some good receivers who can catch the ball. Rob Hart comes in and feel a little bit better now and nails the field goal and you go on top. Needed that right there. We needed the points. We're, we're three points ahead, I believe, right now. And boy, the momentum switches to our side, which is really important. I was glad to see Rob Reynolds back on the field. You're not kidding. Boy, and we needed him because Mark Robinson went down. Exactly. So, Larry, he's, he's important. He didn't practice all week, so we was really proud of the way he played. Now, Rob puts this one in the end zone. That's where you want to nail him back there. Make that, him that, start at the 20 at least. That makes it a lot easier. Make him go 80 yards. 
Here we go again with the pressure. Right there, make that tackle. Oh, Mansell Elam right there, wraps him up. Here comes Kirk Barnett, the Fulton County crew. Try to come after, we get a, just a piece of this one right here. Just almost get it blocked. The ball rolls into Murray State territory, and the racers with a 10-7 lead will take over the football and try to get something cranked up here against Middle Tennessee. Come out with a two tight ends, two receivers, and a one-back set. Hand the ball off to, to Dave McCann, trying to get something going, trying to keep formation, keep them uh, off balance a little bit, Larry, with a good mixture of formation. The middle defense braces, though, and the racers are forced to give it up, and Mr. Pruitt comes in and nails a long one and drives uh, Mosteller back. Excellent punt, and uh, boy, again, he's just done a good job for a, for a freshman, and we hope we just, just keep going. Good job right here by Anthony Hutch, putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. We see him move, he's moving out of the pocket. And this was one, they're very lucky. William's about to get this one, and, and they make a catch right here on, on a tip ball, but William Hampton also came to play. He sure did. Uh, Boots made a change and brought in Jonathan Quinn, the big 6'5", 225-pound quarterback, and for a while it looked like he was going to spark him there, but then the pressure got to Quinn. Wow. Good yep. job. You see Anthony Hutch? He yeah. took the tackle and moved him back in the backfield, Larry. I know. It's big play. Well, Anthony's big and strong enough. He can do those sort of things. Metal's forced to kick it again. And this time... Oh, it uh, makes what, it what, why did he make that decision? Well, he saw a bunch of white jerseys. He's got to catch that ball. It's a poor decision, Larry. He's got to catch that ball, and, and William knows better. Now here's uh, the handoff to Anthony Downs, and like you say, Coach, I think he ran as hard as he's ever run since uh, transferring to Murray. And this is a great camera action, right? A great camera shot of the offensive line doing a great job of blocking. And when you can run, you open up the pass. When you can pass, you can open up the run. There's a great mixture going on. We got him off balance. Here we are right here. We fake the little out pattern. We go up. Beautiful trajectory by Mike Cherry and great catch by Jesse, and Jesse takes it home. Jesse talks about that. We went to the locker room and visited with Jesse Jones after the game, and he talks about his ability to get open and the feeling that goes through your heart and mind as that ball is sailing towards you. And Jesse says that's the toughest thing to do when you're wide open <laughs> is to catch the ball. He said he'd rather catch it in traffic, Coach. That's great. He, he's got to just keep doing what he's been doing. Good job. Right. Look at the protection. I believe you and I could sit in there and maybe make that throw. You think? Well, you could, not? Coach. You're an old quarterback. Uh, I don't uh, think so. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Jones with one of his two for the night. Here's Cherry faking pump. Good fake by Anthony Downs. And then again, the offense. Here's another line. angle. Oh, great job! Right great there. job. Jesse has a great speed, Larry. I don't think people. He's really deceiving. He's a lot faster than you think. Good Rob, kick, good protection. Rob's still automatic, leading the conference in scoring, the young man from Sheffield, England. We also visited with Rob. You'll uh, want to stay tuned for that. Here's the kickoff, and it's short. And here's Mosteller. Boy, is that kid dangerous. Ooh, ooh, good tackle right there by Greg Taylor and Timmy Scarborough. People hustling and swarming the football, and, and that's what you like to see on the special teams. Boy, he's, he is very, very strong. Very strong back. I tell you, we beat a good football team, Larry. You did. Middle Tennessee's got a good team. And uh, like I say, this is the only time this year that Middle's been embarrassed. Here's Quinn trying to buy some time. Good job, right Time's there. up. <laughs> Time's up. Elliot Dunn. Elliot Dunn and T.A.'s there to congratulate him. Again, good pressure. Ronnie Merritt chasing him out of bounds right there. All night long, the, this, the constant pressure in the secondary play was, was just excellent. Ooh, Ooh. good tackle. Ooh, Ronnie Chris Bond, Merritt, Chris Ronnie Bond, Bond, Kenny Thomas. By they the way, knew it. They knew it was short. Ronnie Merritt will always remember the game with Middle Tennessee. Picked off a pass, ran it in for a touchdown. You'll hear Ronnie's comments about that, too. Hits him over the right side. Halftime, Murray State on top, 17-7. We're going to be back with more on Racer Review with Houston Nutt right after this break. There are a lot of good reasons for choosing The Quiet Company. David Travis is one of them. When you have a new reason for wanting the most secure life insurance, talk to David Travis in Murray, Kentucky. The Quiet Company, Northwestern Mutual Life. People's First offers quick service on real estate loans. If you're thinking of building or buying a new home, stop in and see one of our friendly loan professionals. 
When you apply for a loan from People's First, you won't have to wait long for approval. And we have variable and fixed rate mortgages to offer. People's First, first in lending. People's First, serving Ballard, Callaway, Graves, Livingston, Marshall, and McCracken counties. What does Dairy Queen of Murray have in common with Racer Football? A long tradition of excellence and leadership for a better future. Coach Houston Nutt has taken the reins of a program steeped in tradition. Under his guidance, the racers are working for a great future. And Dairy Queen, well, Dairy Queen of Murray has been serving delicious dairy treats since 1949. And owners Hal and Leslie Kemp are building on this tradition for new generations to enjoy. Dairy Queen of Murray is proud to support Racer Football. It's that time of year. Time for the Super September Sale at Gillum Thompson Furniture and Bassett Gallery in Mayfield. Truckloads of new fall furniture are arriving every day. So to make room, the fine folks at Gillum Thompson have put everything on sale. Famous names, too. Bassett Rocker Recliners, $199. Twin Mattress Sets, $89. Just examples. There's always easy terms and easygoing folks to serve you at Gillum Thompson Furniture and Bassett Gallery, just north of the Parkway in Mayfield. Don't miss the Super September Sale. Welcome back to Racer Review, and our guest this week, our guest, I should say, our guest coach is defensive coordinator Bobby Allen. Coach, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. It's nice to be here. And I'll be honest with you, buddy, beginning of the season, uh, we're talking about changing the defense and the new defensive coordinator, and uh, they got off to a shaky start, but boy, let me ask you, how in the world did you turn this defensive unit around? Well, um, be honest with you, it's been the seniors on our defensive group. You know, we asked them, we got them together, just said, hey, we got to come together as a defensive group. There's a lot of pressure coming in with all the statistics and how good they were last year that they felt like they had to live up to every, everyone's expectations of the defense from last year. And we just said, hey, you're not the exact same defense from last year. Let's just go out there, play together, try to put one play at a time, one game at a time, and see what happens. And that's what we've done the last two weeks. Well, it's very obvious in the last uh, two games, the defense has only given up seven points. Yeah, seven points, and, uh, you know, we've really, for our kids to go out there and work for a shutout is really important. I mean, to look at the scoreboard in that SEMO game and, and have a goose egg, that, that went a long ways with our kids. And you do have good senior leadership, don't you, Coach? We, we, really, do. we really do. We have, you know, in our defense front, we got, like, Anthony Hutch, Terry Anthony, uh, Matthias Valvo, uh, Elliot Dunn. Um, in our secondary, we got William Hampton, Ronaldo Hampton. I mean, right down the line, we've got great senior leadership. You know, in, in a way, the media was, was partly to blame for this. But, you know, the, as you mentioned, the defense gave up a ton of points in the first two games. I mean, the truth is the truth. But, and, and I think the defense huddled and said, all right, guys, what are we made of? Right. Let's go out there and make something happen. It was a test of our character, no question about that. And the kids responded the last two weeks. Um, there, there were a couple things that happened in the first two games that, as coaches, you look at the film and you can kind of pinpoint and say, well, if you wouldn't have done this and we wouldn't have shot ourselves in the foot on this play, it might be a different outcome. But we're not about playing about ifs and ands and buts. Exactly. You know, we, the reality is we gave up points. But what we're shooting for is an end result. So it would be better than what we were last year. All right, you're the newest kid on the block. Uh, you played at Virginia Tech, for those who want to know. He's a hokey. And now we talk about coming to Murray in the Ohio Valley Conference, uh, the adjustment for you. Well, it, it's been a real easy adjustment. Obviously, working for Coach Nutt has been a, a joy. Uh, coming to, to Murray, the people have, have been real friendly to, to myself and my family. Yeah. Um, and then in the coaching profession, I've been around a, a couple different places, and I've been in the small town. And, you know, I have, uh, I have uh, three boys and another one coming right now. So being a man with, with family, uh, coming to a family town, it's been real easy. Well, I tell you what, this part of the country, the folks are. They're, they're fine folks around here, and of course, they love their football, as, as you can tell. I can tell. And you get, you get any heat from the fans after the first couple of games, Coach? No, I, I think the fans have been real kind to me. Uh, you, you get a couple looks, and, and that's part of the territory. <laughs> but, you know, if it wasn't important to them, I wouldn't want to be here. That's exactly right. Well, Coach, I certainly do appreciate you coming on the show and, and keep that defense going, okay? We'll do our best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Coach Bobby Allen, defensive coordinator of the Murray State Racers. We're going to be back with more on Racer Review with Houston Nutt right after this break. Don't you go away. Come to Raceway Auto Sales on the corner of 4th and Poplar if you want a great deal on a dependable used car. Don't talk to a salesman or the secretary. Talk to the boss. I will not be undersold. 
If I have to, I'll beat the tail light out and beat their price. Don't miss out on a bargain. Come see me, Donnie Winchester, or call BR549 for a great deal on a used car. Don't forget, corner of 4th and Poplar by the police station. Thank you. Hello. I'm Loretta Jobes of Century 21 in Murray. Murray State University football was number one last year with a perfect 11-0 regular season. When you're number one, you can do things others can't. If you're looking for a career with unlimited potential or to buy or sell property, discover the power of Century 21. We can do things others can't. Call us right after the show, 502-753-1492. For more than 25 years, HT Marketing and Hawaiian Tropic have been helping you be sun smart, and our new products continue that tradition. Our sport line provides all day protection for active, vigorous individuals with an energetic lifestyle. Our baby faces and just for kids provide all day broad spectrum protection in 15, 35, and 50 SPF. For tanning, the carrot and aloe gel and amplifiers and oil or gel are go sunless for a tan without the sun. Be sun smart with our Hawaiian Tropic products from HT Marketing of Murray. He's not just a crime-fighting superhero. Oh, no, he's so much more. Thank you. He's hard-headed. You've been doing sit-ups. He's witty. That's mighty good spitting for a woman who talks like Sylvester the Cat. He's multilingual. Poor Arth Nardwaz. And he's a darn good dancer. Yes, he's... A freakazoid. Yes, he's freakazoid. I think this city's starting to smell a little better. 3D glass is not required. Catch him every weekend right here on Kids WWW. Welcome back to Racer Review with Houston Nutt. Racers up 17-7, second half. Here we go, Coach. Well, oh, this ball took a funny bounce. I'm glad Donald Hitson got this ball right here. Scared boy, he really does a nice job of getting us good field position. I thought the ball was going to go out of bounds. I did, too. Now, Donald was shaking up last week. Is he okay now? He's probably not 100%. He's got a little sprained ankle, but he's doing a good job of playing with it. Good run, good blocking right here. We get nine yards. This was disappointing on the opening drive. Probably just should have stayed with the same play. It was my fault. Made a bad call. We have second and one at the 50, and we can't make a first down. That, that's disappointing. Great kick right here, and boy, we almost get the ball right here. Good job of coverage by Lynn Cooper, Deion Smith. Just continue to do a great job with our special teams. Good pressure by Carlos Ranzi and Ronnie Merritt. Yeah. Takes it home. Look at Hutch and people blocking. <laughs> Ronnie knew who was blocking. <laughs> Ronnie told me after the game, he said, I knew who laid those blocks. And he said it was a feeling you'll never forget. And you'll hear his comments on the postgame show. That's great. Here's Quinn. Again, picked off by Ronnie Merritt. And Ronnie, you say those highlights, son. Elliot Dunn right there blocking uh, for uh, Hutch. Watch Hutch. Matthias Valvo. <laughs> That's a knockdown. Wow. Big knockdown. Yeah. Here comes Rob Hart as the racer's uh, defense gets on the offensive board. And all of a sudden, it's 24-7 Murray State. But I really was. I was happy for Ron. I'm happy for any defensive guy who can penetrate that end zone because deep down, everybody wants to run the football. That's everybody exactly right. wants to score. Sure they do. Here's Hart's kickoff. Good kick right here. I think our coverage breaks down a little bit right there. Got to squeeze that, stay in your lane. But look at the tackle by Rob Hart. Rob Hart. Hey, he went after him. He told me after the game, he said, that was my responsibility. And he, he knocked <laughs> him out, too. <laughs> Watch it again. That a way to go, Rob. He can make a linebacker yet. Middle takes over, and they put Gordon back in. Good he runs job. out of real estate here. Make that tackle, Ronnie Mayer, but I'll tell you what, I feel good about the way we played the option right there. Right. And it's a credit to Bobby Allen, our defensive coaches, Coach McLean and Coach Partridge and Bo Hannaford have just done an outstanding job. There's as much difference in the defense now four weeks ago as day and night. That's right. Now here, Cherry, let me see. I think this is the play. Yeah. Hits it to Sam Greer Sam. right here over the middle, and uh, just a big first down. They were giving us the middle, Larry. They run into the sideline, and we did a good job of mixing up our pass. Ooh, look at the run right here by Anthony Downs. Great job of making people miss, and uh, he gets better every game also. He sure does. And I tell you what, he, 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 he's a big old boy. I talked to him after the game. He's big. Oh, he's very big. Too. He's a big kid. I mean, this kid can run. Big old 205, 10-pound bite coming at you. Good fake right here. Good escape right here by Mike. We got a little boot play, and 
find Jesse Jones again over the middle for another first down. And the one thing we felt like with those ends, Larry, we were real scared of how quick they were. Our tackles did a good job with them, and we kept them off balance with the run like this. Here we are, mm -hmm. hitting it right up the middle, and then you had to be able to throw the football against this group. Here's Rob Hart coming in. The racer settled for the three-pointer. I thought the difference in the game was when Ronnie Merritt came out in the third quarter. The defense put prayer. He intercepts the ball. Right. Put seven quick points on the board, and then we get a field goal. Boy, that really, I, I think, took the air out, out of him. Here's Mosteller again. And this time, well, he does. A couple of missed tackles right there. Normally, we don't miss. we got to get that corrected. But again, it's good coverage. They're back deep in their territory. And, uh, boy, we're swarming the football now. There's Rule Shepard. Now, it's good to see 14 it out was. there, Larry. Rule says he's not 100%, but said he wants to play. And I asked him about that. In fact, you'll hear his comments after the game. But it was good to see Rule back out there. Of course, Rule is going to graduate on time. And I tell you what, men like Rule Shepard. Look at the protection. Yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, Larry. No, that's fine. Look at the protection right there. And he finds Jesse Jones. We had a post play to Reginald Swinton, but he was covered up. Oh, good cut right here. He bounces it outside. And look at the power right there. And if he doesn't step out of bounds, Dude. it's going to be a touchdown. Yes, sir. Big balance and, a, like you said, Larry, a very big back. Here it is. To the outside. Watch him lower his head. Mm. Like a big old fullback, he just run over you, <laughs> knock you down, make you like it. And this young man is just a junior. Charleston, South Carolina. Welcome addition, Anthony Down. Here's Mike. Good play action. Play. Ooh, good pass over the linebacker's head. Way to protect the ball, Reggie. Big play. You know, for, for the most part, Reggie was overlooked last night. But I'll tell you one thing, he's dangerous. Now the racers are knocking on the door. Hits and bangs it down to the one. End of the third quarter. Murray stayed on top of middle, 27 to 7. They've been ganging up on us on our, on our heavy personnel, our three fullbacks. So we slipped Jesse in the backfield and ran him on a little quick out. And we snuck him in there, Larry, in the end zone. Jesse Jones with his second six-pointer of the night. Rob Hart comes in, and all of a sudden, Rob's Mr. Automatic, kind of like Mr. Dill. Well, that's a good feeling to know that he can split the uprights because you need every point. Racer one comes back out, much to the delight of the partisan crowd on hand at Stewart Stadium. And Racer's on top, 34-7 against Middle Tennessee. Seemed like Mosteller returned 19 kickoffs last <laughs> night. Every time he turned around, D's got the ball. He's a pretty good athlete. Yes, he is. Tony Turner wraps him up, though, at about the 34-yard line. That's where middle takes over first and 10. They go to Quinn again. I thought we was going to have a chance for maybe one or two more interceptions. We got our hands on some, but uh, for the pressure by the defensive line, it's just was excellent. What do you do, just fall down? Slip down right there and uh, get away from the ball if that happens. You're scared to death right here, but we sweep out here to Donald Hitson. Not for much. We probably got a little bit slow. I tell you what, this was another long. These TV games are long, Larry. That's right. Well, they take those timeouts, and uh, nothing you can do about it. But uh, I, I was really glad to, to see a, a Timmy Scarber come in. Timmy ran hard, oh, too, he, last night. He really did. I want to talk about him when, when we start seeing his highlights because he's a special person. Middle Tennessee now takes over, and they're threatening to score. Quinn chased out of the pocket, and then he's hemmed up. Right. and. Good job right there by Willie Corbin taking the ball out. And, uh, boy, I thought we almost almost had this. I think they recovered it. Yeah, I think they retained possession. Real Shepard was also in on that play. Here's uh, Gary Humphrey right here causing the punt. Ooh, uh, why didn't he pick it up and run? Well, he, he probably thinking about that right now. That's Daniel Harwell. I'm glad he got the ball, but he, he can <laughs> pick it up. That's a good job right there. So the racers toward a middle Tennessee attack and come back for the football. Here's Timmy Scarborough, and I'll tell you what you appreciate. Here's a guy that came in here three years ago, mm -hmm. first signee we signed. And, uh, you know, a lot of seniors could have a, a, a puffed-out lip. Why, not, why, why, why am I not getting the ball more, Coach? Why aren't I playing more? But he has a great attitude. He's on kickoff team. He's going to get some more carries, and uh, he's hard to tackle. Well, I tell you, you look, you look at Timmy Scarborough and Tony Turner, both in the same boat. That's right. But when you got great athletes like Hitson and Anthony Downs, he, they realize the talents there, and they're team players, and I, I commend them for that. I really do. We're going to be back. I'll tell you what let's do. We're going to take a break, then we're going to take you to the locker room and hear the players respond to the big 34-7 win over middle right after this break on Racer Review with Houston Nutt. 
To make things easier for you and your loved ones, call on Jade's Churchill Funeral Home. We're a full-service funeral home that offers both pre-need and at-need arrangements. We're always there when you need us. We offer comfort that only friends can give. We're your friends before you need us, when you need us, and after you need us. When you want your loved ones to have the very best in final arrangements, J.H. Churchill Funeral Home will be there to help. J.H. Churchill Funeral Home, Murray. Most mattresses ignore the fact that two-thirds of a person's body weight rests in the middle. The result? Most folks spend one-third of their lives in a rut. The solution? The marvelous middle from Restonic. Underneath these posture lines is a one-of-a-kind system that supports you very comfortably for a very long time. So treat your middle to our middle, the marvelous middle from Restonic. See the Restonic difference on display at Crash Furniture's Bedding Gallery. People's Bank presents signs and symbols of your hometown. Your hometown bank. Your hometown bank. People's Bank is Murray's only locally owned bank. Sign up with us today. Member FDIC. enjoyable parts about my job, especially when the racers win, and that's quite often. I think I've only lost two games since we've been hosting right. the show. <laughs> it's going to the locker room and seeing those happy faces. Well, Saturday night in Stewart Stadium was no exception. I went to the locker room, and the first guy I bumped into was Mike Cherry. Here's that interview. For the first time this season, the offense and the defense both put it back to back. That's exactly right. And, you know, I think our fans, uh, you know, everybody going into this game talking about a fluke. Last year being a fluke, 35 nothing down there, uh, it wasn't no fluke. We know what kind of team that we can have uh, when the defense and offense plays like that. And uh, we had a great game plan by our coaches, and uh, we executed just perfectly, and you know the outcome, 34-7. What about your figure? Was it hurting you any tonight? No, sir. Uh, you know, our staff, our training, training room staff did a good job of, of getting it bandaged, bandaged up, you know, last week during the game. And it affected me a little bit just because it was numb. And uh, this week it didn't affect me that bad tonight. You, you threw the long ball well. Sure did. You know, we had a couple there early. I, you know, uh, overthrew Reggie, then overthrew uh, Jesse on the first one. But finally hit one deep uh, with Jesse. He ran a great seven and up route. Uh, Lyon gave me a great time to protect and uh, he made the catch. Mike, right now, it appears you guys are on track. We are. We, you know, it's, this was an important game for us. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, it's a confidence booster. And uh, we took a good middle team and, and pretty much controlled the ball, controlled the line of scrimmage on both sides. Our defense is coming. Offense, you know, we just got to get some guys uh, back healthy. And uh, we're ready to go next week, uh, starting with our homecoming, Austin P. Rob Hart, another good game. Thanks very much. Uh, had a bit of a problem with the kickoff, especially at the starts, and uh, coach wasn't very happy with that. But uh, again, I managed to get the field goals and kick the ones that really uh, mattered at the time. I don't think I've been more nervous when I've kicked a field goal before, so uh, I'm just happy that I managed to get the job done, and uh, all the guys are really ecstatic about what's happened today. I mean, they're over the moon, really. What a play on the kickoff. You knocked the guy out of bounds. You saved a touchdown, Rob. Huh? Well, I had to do what I had to do, you know, so I've even got a wool wing to uh, show it now, so... It was, it was something I had to do, so I'd done it. <laughs> Did you feel yourself in any kind of uh, pressure when, when, when the guy was coming down the sidelines? I don't really remember much of it, actually, to be honest. I mean, I just, the guy came up, and uh, I just kind of like, he was trying to beat me for speed, and uh, somehow I managed to get across and just uh, cut, cut the angle down and make the tackle. So it was, it was kind of a nice, to, nice feeling. <laughs> would, you, would you have thought before the season you'd be the leading scorer in the OVC? Uh, definitely not. I mean, I've... I'm really, I'm really, really happy. If I'd, have, if I'd have been told about the situation beforehand, then I would have taken it with both hands. I mean, I'm just, so, I'm just so lucky that I've been fortunate enough to have so many kicks, and the guys have been getting the ball down there and uh, everything. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just, I'm just very fortunate. I'm in a good football team at the moment. 
Aruel, you've been waiting weeks for this. How did it feel when you went on the field? Oh, it felt real good just to be out there and you know, be a part of the team again. Just get out there and just, you know, feel the excitement of the game. You know, it's been a while since I've been out there, so I was just happy to get out there. Were you a little apprehensive at first? Well, yeah, I'll tell you what it is. I'm just not uh, used to the speed of the game yet. I could, in practice, you know, I, tell, I could tell that my quickness wasn't there. But, you know, hopefully just going, getting more reps in practice and just working my ankle some more, hopefully I'll get back to full speed. Coach says you, you are going straight ahead, but when you try to make a cut, that it hurts you. Yeah, you know, it gives me a little problems, you know, when I try to go sideways, but it's getting a lot better. You know, Alan Lawler in the training room, he's been helping me out a lot, you know, trying to get me ready. So, you know, I'd like to thank them just for doing what they've done to get me back on the field and thank the Lord for just giving me another opportunity to play. Real, did you ever think about taking a red shirt? Yeah, I thought about it a little while, but it, I wanted to leave. I wanted to play this year with this group, you know, since I had come in with this group. Right. I, I wanted to be a part of this team this year. So I think I, you know, you think done, right yeah, I think so. Good luck to you, Ruth. All right, thank you, Mr. McIntyre. Jesse, I got to ask you, so many times tonight, how in the world did you get completely wide open as you were? Well, basically it was just the routes, the routes that was called, I mean, asked for a lot of blocking, and Mike got a lot of blocking, and he had great feet. And anytime you have a quarterback scrambling and looking for a receiver, you got to come open. And I just stopped and went back to the ball. On the 64-yard touchdown reception, you saw it coming. You're wide open. Tell me, what's going through your mind, Jesse? Well, when, when you're that wide open, that's the hardest ball to catch. But, but I focused and looked it in. And I just give all the credit to, to the coaches for calling that play and also the offensive line because, you know, anytime you have any kind of stop and go or delay pass, it takes a great blocking. And that's what we got. You know, Jesse, uh, as this team progresses, you look at you, at Reginald, Pollard, Greer. I mean, uh, got some pretty doggone good receivers out we, there. We have some great receivers, and teams are going to play us more honest. You know, they some games they just stack the line and say they're not going to let us run, disrespecting our wideouts. And me and Reginald, well, Reginald is a great receiver, and as I was saying before, we each other's biggest fans, and I love to see him catch a pass, and I'm sure he loves to see me catch a pass. And, you know, they're they not going to stop us. And then once they come out to defend us, we're going to run the ball. We got Anthony Downs, Donald Hitson. You know, we got a, a great quarterback that can make those decisions. You know, a lot of those calls are called on the line. And if he see it, if he see them trying to get out to cover us, he'll call a run play. We just got great balance. And, and our defense, you know, they beginning to play. They beginning to show everybody, answer all questions. They can play ball. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to think, Jesse, this ball club could be as good or maybe better than last year. Well, we, you know, last year is behind us now. We have to put up, we, you know, we have to put up the numbers and, and everything, make the tackles, score the touchdowns. We got to show up to play every game this year because last year is gone. Anthony Downs, I thought tonight you ran as hard as you've ever run this year. Yeah, I, you know, I owe, I owe all that to the offensive line. You know, they blocked exceptionally well. You know, they came out first half, dominated offense, I mean, defense part of you know, they just blocked deception away, and I owe all that to them. Anthony, you know, when, when Mike's throwing the ball, and, and, and that really complements the running game and, and opens it up for you. Yeah, it, open, it opens up, you know, it also, you know, when we run the ball, open up the pass, you know. It just works like that, and, you know, we all came together, and everything, you know, just clicked like clockwork. Anthony, coming from Clemson, it was a transition. Uh, have you enjoyed it so far? Yeah, you know, I've adjusted, you know, everybody's treating me well, you know, and everything's just going super. You know, people said Derek Cullors came in here from TCU and, uh, and in one year helped turn this team into a championship team. Here's a young man who comes in from Clemson, and by golly, you could do the same thing. You know what? Well, I hope so. You know, those are pretty, pretty big shoes to fill. You know, he did, right. he did an exceptional well job. You know, you know, I just want to do well and help the team the best way I can. Well, as Mike Cherry said, I think you answered the skeptics tonight. Offensively and defensively, a good game, both sides of the ball. Yeah, we were, pretty, we were fundamentally sound offense and defense, and you know, everything just came together. Now we got homecoming. Yeah, ready for it. Okay, it's every, by every linebacker's dream to pick one off and take it in. Ronnie Merritt, describe it. Yes, sir, it's great. I just uh, seen him throw the ball and broke on the ball and got it. Just running down the sideline and seeing a big block by Matthias, Matthias Volvo that put me in the end zone. It felt great. I've often wondered how it feels for a linebacker to pick one off. It's just, it feels great. I mean, it's just indescribable. I love it. Could you read the quarterback's eyes? You knew where it was going? Well, I tried to bait him the last time we uh, ran that defense, and he ran the same play, but he was under pressure and couldn't make that throw. And I tried to bait him a little bit, and then I baited him a little bit this time. And as soon as I turned my head, he thought I was going the other way and threw it, and I just broke back, broke back to it and caught it.
All right, now last week the defensive guys didn't want to talk to the media. Now in the last two games you guys have only given up one touchdown. You feel free to talk to us tonight, huh? Yeah, we feel like we've got back on track and got back, you know, and playing good defense that we know we should be talking to the media. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you guys had a great game and good luck in the future, Ronnie. Thank you, sir. I tell you what, like I say, that, that's one of the most enjoyable parts of this job, going to the locker room and talking to these kids, and they're all so warm, and, and they care for each other. Well, Larry, that's, that's what we feel so good about. The, we say kids, they're young men. They are. And uh, I tell you what, I, the one thing this coaching staff has done, we brought in quality student athletes, and uh, I'm very proud of them on and off the field, and uh, I'll take every one of them and let them babysit my children and put them in my living room. I mean, I feel that good about each one of them. I feel good about this group. Uh, I introduced my wife to a couple of the players, and she said, as we walked off, she said, you know, everything was yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, and thank you, and very polite. And that's something you don't see in a lot of locker rooms. Well, I, I, that's important. And, Larry, I, I appreciate your wife saying that because that, that spreads, and that's eventually going to get back to us. And, and this is our family, and this is our group. And just real proud of them right now, not only on the field, but off the field as well. You should be, Coach. We're going to take a break and be back with more on Racer Review with Houston Nutt. Don't go away. Lots more up. Murray's Kroger Supermarket is unlike any supermarket you've ever seen. 17 full-service specialty shops include fresh produce, a bakery and pastry shop, seafood shop, service meats, dairy products, a pharmacy, cosmetic and fragrance center, floral shop, greeting cards, a video store, and even a bank. Your friends at Kroger are ready to serve you 24 hours a day. The Kroger Marketplace on North 12th Street in Murray. It's the 15th anniversary celebration. Now at Woodcrafters Galleries in Murray. Woodcrafters celebrates 15 years in business. With tremendous anniversary savings store-wide. Like beautiful solid oak bedrooms, just $9.99. Or this solid wood farmhouse dinette, now $3.78. Complete seven-piece living rooms, only $8.99. Plus, buy today with no down payment. And no interest charges for 12 long months. That's one year, same as cash. During the 15th anniversary celebration. At Woodcrafters Galleries in Murray. Hurry, get there now. Have a cracked window in your vehicle? Let the experts at Eli's Automotive Glass take care of it with very little inconvenience and expense to you. Whether it's a foreign or domestic vehicle, conventional or cab over truck, Eli's will do the job. They use original equipment. No matter how large or how small, Eli's will glass them all. Offering complete road service even in surrounding counties. Open Monday through Friday and Saturdays by appointment. Eli's Automotive Glass. Phone 759-4104 in Murray. Insurance claims are welcome. You thought Monday night was dead. Savannah. Thanks for staying with us on Racer Review with Houston Nutt. All right, buddy, you're on a roll. You racked up three in a row. Now, what's down the line? Important week. Uh, the ordinary person, it's so easy now to say, okay, let's just relax a little bit. Right. Let's pat ourselves on the back. We beat a Division One team. <laughs> can't do it. We can't relax. Because Austin P. just like at Southeast Missouri, mm -hmm. they'll come after us. They'll come after us so hard. So the reason we won three games is because everybody's worked so hard. They practice hard. And you do it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to have that chance on Saturday. Now what about the, the Knicks, the little injuries? Concern about Mark Robinson, David McCann, Eric Mathis, uh, Carlos Ranzi. You got a few nicks, uh -huh. but we just hopefully it's nothing not too major. Bad. Nothing major, but Mark Robinson has a, a severe, probably a hope, just a stretch Achilles tendon. Okay. But the Achilles tendon's tough to come back from, you know. So see how sore that is. I tell you what, we've got Stephen. Let's throw some of that footage of Murray and Austin P last year in the first half. Murray completely manhandled. This is their quarterback, young man by the name of Hokey. And uh, he's uh, running the football. Austin P got only three points, I believe, coach, the first half. I tell you, we had a good game plan. We swarmed the football. Uh, they were still running option right here. I don't think they're running option this year. Uh, 
But who knows? Everybody wants to run option against us, but I think we'll be ready whatever they run. But uh, looking forward to it, we just got to prepare. I'm more, again, concerned about us. If we'll prepare right and practice hard, we'll be fine. Austin P. Uh, actually, last year played two quarterbacks against Murray. They went with this kid in the first half and in the second half. I brought in a kid by the name of Williams, I believe, and he threw the ball well, but you manhandled him. I mean, you got after him the first half. Kirk Barnett there right. from, from Fulton County. Elliot Dunn played a good game. Uh, Anthony Hutch uh, looked real, real good in the first half. This is first half highlights of last year's game with Austin P at Clarksville. And as I say, of course, the racers uh, won it by a wide margin last year. And the defense really got after him. This is one of those big hurdles last year that you, you know, that you took care of, took care of business and went on to a 11 and 0 season. That's exactly right. There is Eric Mathis getting in and uh, Chris Vaughn putting a lot of pressure on, but you're exact coming off of middle Tennessee, coming off a big win. Exactly. It's important that uh, just no letdowns. And of course, Austin P comes in here. It's homecoming, a big weekend. And of course, the old grads be rolling in. They, uh, Ronnie Merritt getting a little, <laughs> little testy yeah, there. Watch it, Ronnie. Don't hit back. No, don't hit back. <laughs> uh, of course, it, the kickoff's at 2.30, Stewart Stadium. And uh, the old grads, of course, are proud. Murray State's 2-0 and on top of the conference. So we got something to brag about. Uh, here's a young fullback who uh, broke it up the middle, but then uh, Murray stops the drive. I can tell you because I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> but no kid, homecoming is special around here, Coach. It is. It is. This, you know, a lot of people only get to see the racers play one time during the year. The former players, uh, people from way back, from all over, from New York, Ohio, New Jersey, they all come for this game. You're so right. it's important. I wanna, we want to give them a good show. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The last couple of weeks, racer fans have, uh, have enjoyed the show because they have played really, really well. The defense, as we mentioned, given up only seven points in two games. The offense, if you'd told me we'd put 34 on the board against middle, uh, I would have said, you know, I don't, I don't think we can because middle is a good football team. I mean, this wasn't any slouch we were playing. That's exactly right, Larry. And as long as we execute, we, you know, the biggest thing I thought, the, the whole key was last night, hey, no turnovers. No right. No fumbles, you know, no interceptions. And no silly mistakes. That's right, no legal procedures. So that, that's, that's, that's good. Here's the quarterback. Watch this stick. Well, you, don't, you can't see it, but Elliot Dunn and I think it was Renardo Hampton. Elliot Dunn and Anthony Hutch, uh, this is the name of those two. Those two seniors are having great years, Larry. They are really playing exceptional football. Here you are, just putting a lot of pressure on them. And that's the thing that we can do with our speed. We, we, can, we can rush the passer and, and cover them up with our DBs. Mike Cherry, uh, that's going to wrap up the highlights of that one. Yeah, let's get out of it, fellas. That, that's about it. We've seen <laughs> enough. Murray thumped them pretty good, and they're a favorite again this Saturday. How does it feel now, all of a sudden, uh, to have all this gel together? I mean, are you peaking at the right time? Well, we hope so. We hope so. But uh, I just want to keep going with our same intensity, our same focus, our same work habits, uh, just getting up, going to class, going to study hall. I just think it works hand in hand. You know, it's amazing, Larry. The ones that turn in their homework on time, the ones that show up on time for study hall, show up time to lift weights are usually the ones that play good on Saturday. Mm -hmm. The ones that don't go to class, they skip a class, don't turn in their homework, they're the ones that miss assignment on Saturday. It, it's amazing. It, it's, really? it works hand in hand if you just did a study on all that. So that's our main emphasis this week. We're going to get a good game plan against Austin P. We're going to study him and all that, but our players, our players have got to come and go to work. All right. I tell you what, let's do. Let's take one last break and we'll be back with some closing comments from the coach right after this. Creative Interiors in downtown Mayfield invite you to visit our beautiful leather gallery. It features the best selection and display of genuine leather furniture between Nashville and St. Louis. From traditional to contemporary, a wide variety of colors, sofas, sectionals, or lazy boy recliners, all built to give many years of luxurious comfort. Get savings of 25 to 40 percent off list prices, plus up to two years no interest at Creative Interiors. Imagine that. MSU Agriculture, a past to uphold, a future to mold. Since 1925, Murray State University has offered courses and degrees in agriculture. Distinguished faculty members have helped over 1,800 students receive degrees in agriculture. We're pleased with our program in agriculture here at Murray State University. It is one of the most important thrusts of our university. The MSU Ag Department staff invites you to... Come, come join us. us. This message brought to you by the Hudson Company. 
Murray State Racer Football, a top-notch program with a proud tradition of excellence. Dwayne Taylor Chevrolet and Toyota Murray, two top-notch dealerships, both with proud traditions of excellence. Dwayne Taylor Chevrolet, serving the automotive needs of this area for more than 25 years. Toyota Murray, winner of the President's Award for outstanding customer satisfaction. Proud supporters of Murray State Racer Football. Dwayne Taylor Chevrolet and Toyota Murray, Highway 641 South in Murray. So hurry to Murray, where Toyotas cost less, or Dwayne Taylor Chevrolet, where all the deals are tailor-made. Canon and Office Outfitters Incorporated are announcing a special $350 rebate on all NP6025 and NP6030 copiers sold now through September 1996. These copiers produce 25 and 30 copies per minute respectively and can be covered by the Canon Performance Guarantee Program. Accessories include 500-sheet front-loading cassette, 1,500-sheet paper deck, and 10 and 20 bin stapler sorters. Call Office Outfitters for more information. Fulton, Kentucky, 1-800-824-8821, Office Outfitters. Welcome back to Racer Review with Houston Nutt. Uh, Coach, one of the most loyal Murray State supporters is the Grand Marshal of the Homecoming Parade. Stumpy Raver. Yes, sir. And uh, this is a great time for all our former players. I don't think they could have picked a better Grand Marshal. Uh, there's a guy that keeps up with every score of the Western Kentucky game between Murray and Western. Right. Keeps up with, of course, he's at every ball game, but he has a bunch of great stories, and uh, he's just, he's a special person. I saw Stumpy at church, and he said, I told the coach those plays to run last night. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, yeah. he, Stumpy will give you a little insight on what, what plays to run. That's exactly right. But it is an exciting week, coach, and as the grads come back, of course, I know you're happy to have the team back on track. And with Austin P, though, you, you can really can't overlook anybody. Well, you can't. You know, uh, I, I think uh, Southeast Missouri was a great example. You, you can't overlook anybody because they're going to come and play their best game against you or, or try to build this thing up. Uh, Murray State is now, you have a big bullseye on your chest, and they're, they're coming after you. Coach, uh, the, the improvement, uh, the, you know, the one thing we thought nobody could replace Derek Colors, and then all of a sudden you've got four young men back there. Anthony Downs, Donald Hitson, Timmy Scarborough, and Tony Turner. You feel comfortable all four now, don't you? I feel real comfortable, and I feel real... Go ahead and add David McCann, and then don't forget Mike Johnson came in and played with a Charlie horse, took David McCann. When David went down, Mike Johnson did a wonderful job of blocking. So I, I feel good about the backs. I feel extremely good. What's tough is you can't give them all uh, the ball, and they all want the ball, and that's, that's a tough job for, for Danny. Uh, uh, coaching those kind of guys because all skill kids they want the football Reginald Swinton wants it ever play uh, Maurice Pollard would like to have more catches Jesse Jones but this is where we've got to learn it's team mm -hmm. it's team whatever's best for the team we were discussing in the press box the difference between night games and day games of course we played our last night game yes did your kids play better in the daytime or in the night have you done any kind of research on that well early on we like playing night games when it's hot September right but I wish after the first two I wish it'd go all day uh, we I, I just like uh, the day games and I think our players do also especially when it gets a little cooler but the first two games uh, are nice because it's so hot to have to play at night under the lights mm -hmm. but uh, we're, we're we're looking forward to day games now now an impressive win over mental as you mentioned no turnovers to speak of but what do you be working on this week what do you want to improve on the thing that you can always do you can always get better and our players have to realize the only way you get better is go full speed through every drill. That's the only way you get better. And that's the fundamentals. You can always get better at stepping, taking a handoff, looking the ball in receivers, follow through quarterback. All the little things, just keep that going. This is what got, has gotten you this far. And then now take the game plan, take the fundamentals that you work on early in practice, and now put that game plan, just put it all together with a good defense, good offense, and a kicking game and you got a chance to win every ball game. Now you mentioned Austin P. What's the scouting report on them? You said they didn't run the option of the veer anymore. Well, right now they're they're 0 and 4. They're they're throwing a lot of uh, different uh, looks at you offensively. They're throwing four wide outs, three wide outs, two wide outs. They're wanting to throw a little bit more than usual. Uh, who knows? They might come in and run the wishbone against us. You don't mm -hmm. know. But um, more concerned about us. But you worry about a team that's 0 for 4. That they'll, they'll come in and fake a punt. Uh, they have nothing to lose, and uh, they're desperate and they want to win, and they know that uh, they're playing Murray State, and they'll come after us. These kids watch TV. They read the paper. They know what Austin P's got. It, it'd be so easy to overlook a team like that. Well, that's the difference between being average and a champion. And uh, last year, we kept great focus. And I thought for the last three weeks, we've had our best practices. Tremendous studying of opponent, 
We had people come in during the day to watch film, to watch who they're going to be playing against, preparing themselves to be successful. And that's, that's what they have to do. They have to do it every day. So ordinary person says, hey, let's relax. And well, what we try to teach them, Larry, hey, you can't be ordinary. You've got to be extraordinary. You've got to be above and beyond. And the only way you do that is you've got to study, you've got to work at it, no matter what you do. And right. that's why it's a great teacher in life. And this conference race, it's going to be a dogfight. You oh. know, everybody talking about Eastern being 0-3. They just played their first conference game and beat Tennessee Tech. I tell you, uh, don't count Eastern Kentucky out. No. You watch Middle Tennessee. If they could just get their offense going, mm -hmm. Middle Tennessee can come back and beat two or three top teams. I mean, we need them to. Mm -hmm. We want them to come back and beat some teams. Uh, Eastern Illinois, I mean, they looks like they're just uh, unstoppable they, right now. They thumped UT Martin 38 nothing, And they beat a Division One team. But... We can't worry about all those guys. we got to just worry about Austin P. Take care of business. That's right. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right. That's going to wrap it up. For this week's edition of Racer Review with Houston Nutt, we'll see you next week. So long, everybody.